Scorpio. Welcome, Scorpio. We're going to do a general read for you. We're going to look at your current energy, desires, outcome, what's working for you, what you may need to be aware of. That said, um, I've got kind of spaghetti brains right now due to a concussion that I've sur survived a while ago. Um, my words may make sense to you. They may not make sense. There we go. My words may make sense to me. They may not make sense to you. That said, uh, thank you all for coming here and supporting my channel. I do appreciate it. Um, it keeps me motivated to churn these out week after week. Uh, but let's get started and see where your energies are, Scorpio. Off the cop off the top we're in the six of swords energy uh this is that things are finally moving in a better direction for you your desire is the magician to be able to create that which you want the outcome is the five of swords so something not quite finished there may be a few um unfinished things is kind of what I get, that there is something unfair that's happening. We have the Knight of Swords. Pfft, can't even talk. The Knight of Swords that shows up for you. Uh, this is somebody that is um, sort of just entering and going and taking action. Um, <clears throat> and then we have the Nine of Swords, isn't what you need to be aware of. Sorry, I'm dropping cards here. Uh, the Nine of Swords, which is somebody is possibly experiencing uh, a bit of anxiety around what life is. Now, the card that dropped is the Lover's card. Now, I am guessing that for some reason, you're not supposed to see this card. I don't know why. Um, that's really interesting. Um, let's put this back in the deck and see if it shows back up. <clears throat> so the Six of Swords. Uh, I typically don't take pop-outs. That one was kind of weird. Um, so why is the Six of Swords here? So maybe you're not supposed to know that there's a major love coming in for you. Six of Swords is the Queen of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. This is the idea that, you know, things are moving in a better direction. Um, your emotions uh, are going to be affected to where you feel like you're able to share them. They're not going to be so overwhelming. Uh, and this might be around um, money, where you're right now, you're feeling a little stressed out. <clears throat> I also get, for some of you, uh, the Queen of Cups is, is a very sort of um, nurturing energy. And we have the Six of Pentacles here, which is sharing. Um, and you can see the sort of this individual is comforting this other one. And it's almost that because things are finally sort of smoothing out for you, emotions are changing, that you are able to step into that role. <clears throat> and as you do so, you understand that um, you're able to share your resources, but you're also able to sort of um, create uh, that prosperity as well. So why is the magician here? Page of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Star. There could be some news regarding work that's coming in for you that creates uh, a bit of an imbalance or conflict with what you had been hoping for. Um, you know, you're hoping to create something, but it's almost like something sidelines it. <clears throat> 
a little bit or create sort of, um, I want to say a hiccup or a burp in it before it really starts uh, to move ahead. Or whatever happens is that there is this conflict and you see that there is more to it and it creates uh, a different situation for you where uh, hope is established. Now let's go and look at the Five of Swords. The Three of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. And the Eight of Swords. Yeah, something's not done. Something's not done with um, with possibly a conflict down here. This Five of Wands. Uh, this could be around work. I'm kind of seeing it uh, that it could also be around some type of relationship. I'd be really surprised if it would be really interesting to see the, the lovers show back up. <clears throat> Maybe that's what this is all really sort of pointing to, is that there is this um, something's not done. You're in separation, possibly, from um, from someone you love. This is the outcome. From someone that you love, and you're feeling really left out, and that's got you stuck in your head going, oh, what do I do with this? What do I do with this? Uh, so this Knight of Swords, Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. It seems that uh, with this partnership, you really just want to take action towards and start something new uh, because it was your past. This is something from the past that you've wanted. Um, For some of you, I want to read this as, for some reason, I'm looking at this individual on this horseback, and this is going to be a really weird movie reference, is Conan the Destroyer. You want to destroy this partnership because it's something from the past, and you want to start something new. <gasps> Wait. You want to destroy this partnership and start something new with somebody from the past. Ooh. This sounds like a good book. Uh, the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Wands. The um, Justice card. And the Nine of Cups. There's some anxiety uh, and what you need to be aware of is there's anxiety about the work that you've been putting in. Uh, you're in sort of the last little bit of this. In order to balance out and get what you, is due you, in order to realize your hopes and your dreams here, we have three nines, like right here. For those of you that are into numerology, I would really suggest taking a look at that. I want to pull three more cards around this for you. We have the Sun card, the King of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Everything's going to be okay. There's going to be, with the new life you start to live, is kind of what I get. There is, uh, once you start to take action, everything is going to be okay. That gets you out of your head. Eight of swords nine of swords you're getting out of your head once you start to take action start to push forward things are going to be okay uh, especially when you start heading in a direction of the new life that you want to create we have the ace of wands that shows up yes if you want this new life you are here to create it do you want to go back to the past this kind of says hmm, it's up to you you get to take that action Either way, it's going to be something new. <clears throat> Scorpio, that is what I have for you today. Best of luck with this week, and we will see you next time. Feel free. I invite you to like, subscribe, share, dislike, or comment. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.